The Port Moresby General Hospital is the major referral hospital in the country, providing general health care services as well as specialist care. This year, especially within the last month when PNG has experienced a spike in reported COVID-19 cases, the hospital has been facing major challenges in relation to its staff capacity amidst increasing demand for health care. We had over 150 of our staff that went down with COVID, mostly in the emergency department. So here you can see a scenario where more loads are coming in, but the staff numbers are reducing. So the staff has been stressed to the limit. Thankfully, none of them are in the severe category that many of them have returned to work after two weeks of isolation, 10 days or so. And uh, staff, uh, 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 staff shortage is a concern to us. The Taurama Aquatic Center, which has recently been used for COVID-19 drive-through testing and other emergency use purposes in PNG's response to the COVID-19 pandemic, will now be used by Port Moresby General Hospital to cater for the increasing demand and challenges that go with it. Uh, with the agreement that we have signed with the NCDPHA, Central uh, St. John's Ambulance, we, uh, we will open up the Roma Aquatic Center as an extension of Port Moresby General Hospital. As I speak, the World 1D patients have been moved across to Tarama Ketchi Center. We are having a medical roster plus a nation roster to support that place. Uh, the objective here is for PMGH to return to full normal services. TB will continue to stay, malaria will continue to stay, asthma, you know, diabetes patients and heart patients, they have uh, 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 not been able to visit our consultation clinics. So we want to go back to providing normal services. After more than 8,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccine arrived from Australia and 132,000 more doses expected from India in the coming week, frontline health workers in the country who are required to take the vaccine have had mixed reactions about it. But according to Dr. Molumi, after consultation with nurses and other frontline health workers, especially at PMGH, who have raised concerns regarding the vaccine, he hopes that the vaccination rollout for frontline health workers at the hospital will be successfully implemented. Yes, it's important to, of course, vaccination is a voluntary, but uh, we have been getting vaccinations all our lives. You know, we've been getting measles, we've been getting polio, we have been getting uh, TB vaccine, we have been getting so many vaccines that, uh, that uh, we have been getting since childhood. So. Most of us are still surviving because of that vaccination program, which we get it uh, when we were small and uh, up to now. Uh, so this vaccination is no different to that. <coughs> yes, it's no different. It's similar to any other vaccines that, uh, that, uh, that we have been getting. Denis Orere, National MTV News.